And the truth, my daughter Ooh. had a life that I never had. Damn. Oh. He's definitely going to respond now. He threw, he oh, threw yeah. proof in there? Oh, my yeah. God, it, yo. Yeah. Nothing gotta say, not something Let's now. Let's go, Benzino! Kill him, motherfucker, dead! Kill him dead, bitch! Shoot him in the fucking head! Go ahead, bitch! Slap! My mom! Slap the fuck out of her! She can't sue you! She wouldn't get a buck out of you! Cause you're broke as fuck! You suck! You're a fucking joke! If you was really selling coke, well then what the fuck you stop for, dummy? If you slew some crack, you'd make a lot more money than you do from rap! You'll never have no security, you'll never be famous, you'll never know what it's like to be rich, like the bitch, ain't it, Raymond? Line is fire, though. The Walking Dead yeah. line? Yeah. He said, I need a walker, right? Like, Walking Dead, and he said Herschel, right? Like, that Herschel, and, and then, but I'm also Herschel you, Walker, the football that's legend, why, right? That's why I don't think nobody's fucking with him, because his bars of scheming is ridiculous, y'all. I, I still, from this day, I don't know another rapper that does that. No, no, from this day. There's not one. The way yeah. he, he built a scheme up. So Where? who who would Eminem go against? You, you know who I think that would be right nice. now, Simba. Mm -hmm. Simba mm -hmm. actually when I was saying hey, he said building, something about building. Eminem too. But as a rapper, come on, I Simba. feel like I feel Eminem, like I can Martian name Valley. five better rappers. So you think you better than Eminem? No. You want my honest opinion? Yes. I think Millie's is is capable no, of putting up a good not, fight, bro. Millie got no scheme. Capable? No, no, bro. He has no scheme. Like, like Simba has a scheme. Like, if we remember that song we listened to, he had structure of schemes, yo. And it was ridiculous. Those schemes after schemes. Millie just has bars after bars after bars. He's a farm to death. Like, I can say the same thing about Cassidy. I don't see him fucking with Cass Cassidy. like the bar king, yo. But I guess we, we would have to find out. But, like, I think he would put up a good fight, in my opinion. Oh, I, I think, think he really would, too. I think it will come out with a fire disc. But I think if when you dissect it, and like look at the bars and look at those schemes i'm like yo he's not he's not winning no it's understandable but what i'm saying is i feel like millie's would give him a good fight i think it will be his best battle up to date right now i thought machine gun kelly was did a pretty good job actually like nobody has really dissed him i think cannabis was, was pretty good that black child wasn't bad that this yeah, I... whitey ford or uh, whitey ford i don't think his song was bad at all i thought that should i think that's like up there with machine gun kelly with your platinum blur Caesar, you look like a hoe Like Eminem stand for a Marilyn Monroe Talking about killing sprees, you ain't like that, yo Making lots of enemies, but that's all for show You punk ecstasy junkie, you waste the skills Stop riding my tails, stay high on pills Oh, I hope you will be, don't be playing with me Little bitch, need to watch what you saying to me Talking shit for shock value, boy, you ain't real Turn hard to day Dre gave you a record deal okay. He's from uh, the House of Pain the entire song is a this? It's an Eminem dish, yeah. Well, What's his name? The one. Whitey Ford. He's from the Whitey House of Ford? Pain. Like F O R D? Yeah. Like the car? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, I actually like um, I like Joe Budden's Slaughter Mouse, though. When he had that, that was an Eminem. That was that wasn't like a full Eminem disc, but he had some Eminem like. Like yeah, how he was feeling about the whole thing. Yeah, but that's the thing about it. I think Roy, like, Royce the Five Nine was pretty good too. His little if, shade to uh, Eminem. If you got like a cute little line and shit and like you throw like a little bit of shade in in a song or maybe even two three songs you know like just little bits of it i don't feel like that's enough respect for a rapper like eminem like if you really gonna diss eminem bro like you better have like an entire diss track you know what i'm saying because this man has slaughtered everything in his path bro like some like, people some people just choking the pressure too like the game i always said this forever i'm like yo the game will fuck you i think the game will We'll go talk to Eminem. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't think so either. Now since he, he came out with that whack ass eight minute, eight minute yeah, long disc, that shit black was, slim shady. That shit was terrible, yo. Terrible. Yeah. He buried G Unit with that three hundred bars, three hundred bars of run. Like he murdered G Unit. I'm like, yo, why you do that, yo? Why you fucking did this? This is, I don't understand where you were going with. It's like a different weight level, though. You know, because it's easier to diss a gangster rapper because all you got to call him is like a fake gangster or a snitch or a rat or any of those things, you know. But like when you diss an Eminem, like he already has exposed his entire life to the whole world. There's really, it's like the eight mile. There's really yeah. nothing much. He, you get, he gave you everything that he's already like. Yeah, at this point, you got to word, like word play him out of his game, bro. And it's his game. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, it's really, really tough. And you would have to be basically possibly a backpack rapper with some sauce, like with some hot sauce. You know what I mean? 
because you wouldn't need the the wordplay, but also the scheming and everything else to go against somebody like Eminem who like mastered all those crafts. You know what I mean? It's, I think uh, I think it, it'd be Mickey Fax would be really dope, but uh, he he would like I don't think that's oh, he the was weight nice. level. Yeah, the weight was... level would never would never match up. Eminem's way too big for him, and I not a lot Nas of people heard too. who Mickey, who Mickey Nas, Fax is. Nas, Nas, Nas will fucking probably. I'm biased though, because Nas Nas is my favorite rapper of all time. No, and I like, love Nas, but I'm yeah. just saying like if you're gonna throw him in a battle right now, Nas right now versus Eminem, I don't think. No, that's gonna... early two thousands. That would have been a nice battle. I would love to see yeah, that. If, it was, if we, we had Ether nods. Like birds of Damn, he mentioned his daughter too, mm -hmm. bro. He's getting nasty, huh? Well, you know, he, he said. You know, he bought up his personal life, though, too, with the hotel. Yeah, he didn't right? say nothing crazy about his daughter, I guess, because they were like saying, um, because his daughter was like, she'll never do a feature with him and then because of her dad. So that's what he said. I said, I guess that feature with Coral Ray's in the toilet, eh? Yeah, mm. that, that instrumental, yeah. That instrumental. Yeah. Me, with, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's Which will never, miss, will never happen. But that was funny that he brought up the whole controversy with with him, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hotel room with yeah. the one bed with the dude. With, yeah, with the dude, yo. The like Red Ben Zeno, yo. Ben yeah. Zeno's been taking. I've been watching Ben Zeno for the longest because I think he's hilarious. He's been doing the most outrageous. He's been like, he's been talking to the police. Like, I didn't do part. nothing to the they, truck, I'm yo. Telling, they all... I, that's how you you snitched on me. I can't believe you out there as much as I've done for you. Come on, man. You ain't gotta try to get the whole hey Black Lives Matter, yo. All right, all right. You ain't gotta be trying to fucking rough me up, all right? Like on camera, like he did it. I mean, he's like telling the police that shit. I'm like, well, I think that's like snitching. Like I've been following him ever since loving hip hop, bro. I think he's hilarious. I think every he's he's very entertaining to me. So he's like known to tell. Like he tells everybody, like yo, I tell on you. No, no, no. He's not. He's not no. But he's he acts like this big gangster shit because he keeps saying like this is his thing with Eminem. He hates Eminem so much, like because he doesn't want a white person to be the head of the culture. Then want to give us Eminem, and he's the greatest rapper. And he's the most. And oh, it's not. It's not. It's not fair, man. Okay, lyrically, but the, the, the masturbation elevation. The, 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 I don't rap like that. I'm not into rap like that. I didn't come up growing up listening to rap like that. I listened to rap that was going on stuff that I could relate with that's going on in my hood. You didn't have to be super lyrical. I like lyrical people too, Nas, no Jay. Like they can put words together good. But the, ka, 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 I wasn't into that rap anyways. And then they're gonna see, well, who is the most streamed and the most sold? And then his face is gonna pop up. Why, why does that bother you though? Because, because it's our culture, it's ours. It's black people's culture, it's us. Why should somebody else get the credit to be the, to be the face of it? Yeah, yeah. He, he thinks Eminem's not a tough guy. He's like, I'm a street guy. I'm from the streets. I really know shit. But when you see him all like in a hotel with a guy, one bedroom, one bed, mm -hmm. and you see him like arguing with his baby mama, and he's like trying to fight this guy that his baby mama's messing with. And this he's, was like, in recent times or before? This is no, this is like the past, well, I'll say within the last eight years. Eight years? Yeah, yeah, eight yeah. years. And Benzina's like, he's the one that did. He hit me. Why am I going to go to jail? Like, why am I? Like, he's like. Damn. Like, bro. On camera, because this is all on TMZ. And this guy's on, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's fucking a mess, bro. But I love so what him. was his excuse for that? Like, that's a hard excuse. Yeah, but nobody ever said anything about it. That's what I'm saying. Yo. Nobody like, cares about this. Benzino. Nobody cares, yo. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy, is, yo. I feel bad, nobody, yo. nobody cares about Benzino, but he's always on podcasts. Everybody has to, because he, he brings in numbers. He does bring in numbers. Everyone wants to in hear recent him. times, like, I haven't seen him in a while, though. No, in the last eight years, he... If Benzino goes on the podcast, that podcast is doing numbers, yo. Because he said yeah. some wild shit, bro. And it's always Eminem. Like, for the last 10 years, that's all he talked about Eminem. The only time he did not yeah. talk about Eminem was on Love and Hip Hop. The, the whole, and that's what I was surprised. The whole no, because Eminem was... has been on top of the world this entire time. Even and going that's... through his struggles with addiction and shit, he's still been on top while this guy is, like, struggling out of Red Roof. You know what I mean? To get a room. Like, that's wild, yo. That's that's yeah. a tough scenario. I can see why he hates him so much. The, the line when Eminem literally talks about the, the 210, he's like, that's what you meant about 210? He, and then the play on the two men. Oh <laughs> shit! I didn't even get that. That's fire, yo. Yeah, cause he's like, oh, that's what you meant about when you said two ten, right? Been uh, linked with a transvestite, too. Yeah. Oh yeah, god. Yeah. Yo, you sure yeah. we want to listen to this, bro? Like this guy has been killing himself. Like. Yeah, well, I know, right? Man, he might do it worse than here. Yeah. Yo, he might like fucking destroy he's himself even further. Popping himself right now. <laughs> yo, you feel? Is the song called Vulture? Oh my god! So no. it's, a, it's a whole culture vulture thing. Vol That's what that means. Volturious. 
It sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah, say he's notorious. Oh, he's notorious for being a vulture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vulture. That makes sense. Yeah. That that's Damn, probably gonna be the best wordplay we're gonna see. So this is one minute to twenty five <laughs> right, seconds. That's, that's it. No way. Oh shit, that's it. All right, that's what I'm keep it short and simple, Benzino. Thank you for joining us on my catalog. Today is a special day because today we're gonna dive into hip hop. This is a rivalry that's been going on for like uh, possibly twenty years or more, or maybe just a little bit less than twenty years. But it's been a long time since Nail in the Coffin, and before that. Uh, a lot of people have came and left this battle, like Ja Rule, 50 Cent, and so forth. And then 50 Cent brought it back. Ja Rule left, though, okay? He don't want no more. But today, we're going to check out Benzino dissing Eminem. Yo, Eminem should be called Skittles, sweet-ass motherfucker. Candy-ass Eminem, bitch-ass feminine, Maddie like melanin, on value turned up again. Oh shit, here we go, Benzino versus Jim Crow. Know a custy when I see one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in the show. Invade our culture, then insult this time, you get exposed. Little ho, this Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Rick. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with 50. Keep it a buck, you ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did pop. If they read your lyrics in the court like they think young thug. From the drugs, chopping her up, caught to the trunk. You are Damn, son. Yo, I'm not going to lie, yo. When he first started, I'm like, oh, come on, man. Like, but... Yo, bro, when he started going in with that little, like, 50 Cent joint and all of yeah, that. Yeah, it picked up. It picked up. Ooh, picked yeah. up really nicely, yo. He was... Was that a Young Buck reference with, with Keep It A Buck? Mmm... Was that, yeah, because they could have keep Buck, right? Because Buck, yeah. Buck, Buck can keep himself. Yeah, but that had yeah, nothing to do with Eminem. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a Buck. Thing. But that was, but yeah, that was right after the Fifty Cent part. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's trying to stay away from the whole Buck thing because, uh, you know, Buck's been linked with with trans people before too. <laughs> same with Benzino, mm. so I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to <laughs> be in that same yeah. circle. I wish he didn't do the feminine. I mean, like, everybody. I hate that. Everybody's yeah. that. Yo, that's just yeah. so stupid. That, that, that kind of threw me off a little bit, but he's picking up now, though. Even he, the Skittle you know, line was super corny. Right? Yeah. The whole beginning was, like, a bit, like, uh, cringy, you know? But afterwards, though, like. First Jim Crow. No a custody when I see one. How many times you overdose? Cracker on crack. Who rap? I hate black in the show. Invade our culture. Then insult this time. You get exposed. Little ho. This Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Britt. What kind of fuck go to war with people? Dancing and singing, don't fuck with fits. You keep it a buck, you ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did pump. If they read your lyrics in the court like they think young thug. From the drugs, chopping her up, caught to the trunk. You a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square and even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, my daughter had like that. I never had it. Damn, so He's definitely in the respond now. He threw, he oh, threw yeah. proof in there? Oh my yeah, god, it, yo. Yeah. Nothing gotta say, not something. Let's now. go, Benzino. That's Damn, man. Damn, man. Oh my goodness. That was yo, that was a tough yo. You know what that reminded me of? That Ja Rule with the uh, what Haley gonna be when she grows up. Uh, Murder. Yeah. It reminded me of that. What type do you think? Yeah. Line. yeah, cause yo, he hit him. You talk he about him the mom and everything, yeah. You're talking about proof, bro. He hit him where it hurts. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He's yeah. like killing who he won't even circle. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, yo. I think that's, that's gonna be that's gonna be the line that Eminem is gonna be like. All right, that mm. that's you, that's the that's one that's the, gonna that's set the line. line. Yeah. yeah. Cause everything he said in the beginning, the whole vulture and culture, like you just sound racist when you're doing that, and you just sound kind of like a hater, you know, yeah. crackhead and blah blah. Yeah, he he's had not, he's not saying right anything that, like a bunch of people haven't yeah. already said. Right? And it's not like he smoked crack. He didn't smoke crack. He was taking pills, so he was a dope head. You know what I'm saying? But like, he's he's calling him a crackhead. It's almost like he's never been in the streets before or something. You know what I mean? I know, like, right? Hey, not come like, on, like, like no, no, your shit, yo. <laughs> like, not, it's like not like every rapper right now is fucking on lean. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, what are you talking yeah. about, bro? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are you talking about? Right you now? was probably on drugs too. <laughs> yeah, for sure, yo. yeah, but nah. Ever since like he started talking about like Fifty Cent and on yo, like he's been killing this shit. Dog. I think you're right about that buck line. It's not like something about Young buck, keep right? Going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did. I yeah. Think, uh, cause when you because he said it literally right after the because uh, I think yeah. it's because can't keep it a buck like because you know they didn't keep young buck you know what i no, mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, yeah, yeah. So that's what i'm saying yeah, yeah i think that was a play on that yeah yeah, yeah. 
I like that too. That, that was yeah, tough. me too. That was pretty fire. Yeah. That's what he meant, but I don't know with Benzino sometimes. <laughs> yeah. From the drugs, chopping it up, caught in the trunk. You a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square and even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, my daughter had a life that I never had. I'm probably more Boston George than America's dad, but I provided. Food, clothes, gifts kept y'all excited. Now you let the industry really lynch, keep us divided. But back when I got indicted, in and out of court fighting. And you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, I'll tell you, hate your father. He could. Wait a minute, yo. Is he talking about he's... Koi right now? Yeah, I think he's kind of responding to what she's been saying, like how she hasn't mm. had like the best life and growing up. But this yeah. just corny, yo. This part is corny. Like, he... yeah, First off, you ain't, why, you ain't, why is that in You here? ain't Boston, Georgia. Yeah. You ain't Boston, Georgia. <laughs> and you can't like be dissing <laughs> Eminem and then go on a, on a, you know, on a message to your daughter. Bro, you just talked about his dead friend, you know, best yeah, friend, yeah, yeah. you know, childhood yeah. friend. And you're going to go talk to your daughter on the same one minute to 25 second track? Yeah, that's and why, why, that's why is the he right like, place to address that at, you know what and, I mean? And Navin, like, he's trying to make us feel bad for him. He's like, <laughs> when I was doing <laughs> oh, all this, I was, in, I was in big shit and I was dealing with cases and I was in wrestling while you were over there just sitting on your high horse and being rich well that's not y'all yeah. in, in your, yeah. <laughs> i feel like he was up in him at that point because i'm like bro yeah. you just said that you were, you were facing cases and he was driving in a foreign car i'm like bro that yeah. means he's winning yeah, <laughs> yeah. it sounds like he was winning yeah because you fighting cases trying to get to those foreign yeah. cars yo uh, this is the opposite of like oh you can't diss me because i dissed myself already <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's still thinking, sounds right? like he thinks that he's still dissing m m yeah. Because like at least when Eminem was doing like you know the whole eight mile thing when he like he was dissing himself and then yeah. saying now you tell me something that these people don't know about me because I just laid it all out right he's Yo, not doing that he's literally doing it like he still thinks that he's he's got bars for it. yeah yeah <laughs> like I think a lot, but Zeta does a lot for attention he he's asking for he wants attention he wants to stay relevant because everything yeah. he's been doing has just been crashing down on him he's he's very petty bro oh he's petty too yo he's very yeah. petty. But I think a lot of street dudes are like petty petty like that. You know what I mean? They go to the extreme to like embarrass you, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's crazy, yo. Just keep it on the mic, yo. I gotta do extra shit, yo. Yeah. And that's what Eminem is good for, you know what I mean? Keeping it on the mic. And that's why he's had like such a long career, you know what I mean? Because he's always just kept it on the mic, you know? But yo, that proof line, though? That proof line was nasty, bro. <sighs> that hurt, bro. That that that, that, yeah. that that was the only thing that I've captured so far in here that that I think is like wow like well the Jim Crow yeah the Jim Crow line is like uh, I don't really care it for the Jim started Crow off line. it started off at the Jim Crow it started getting better the whole after, yeah after, yeah after the Jim Crow line got better the proof after the proof line just got worse and then he's like oh, yeah, no, look, yeah poor no, me I had to do with all this drama while you were rich like shut the fuck up <laughs> which is crazy this yeah. is only a minute and a half right and. The fact that he used how, how long was that part? Because I'm like, how many seconds did he waste on, you know, crying? A to lot his of it. I think I think this whole highlight is that proof line. Yeah, you know what I, I mean. So. I think he thing. worked everything else around that line. He knew he got that line down packed, and he was like, "I right, what else?" Well, can that I, add I think that's the buzzer line, line that he knew that yeah. was gonna catch Eminem's attention. Right? Yeah, I think yeah. that's the line that he's like, Eminem's got to respond now if I say something about proof. Yeah, yeah. You know, like it's it's so crazy for people to diss Eminem too, is because. As much as Benzino dislikes Eminem, you would think that he would never listen to Eminem. None of his music. You know, same thing with Lord Jamar and so forth, right? So if, when these guys diss Eminem, they can't really diss him because they don't know his songs. They they can't really like... Oh, Benzino really listens to Eminem. He's talked about it. He yeah, said that he actually, like, he actually likes a lot of his songs, which he, yeah. he even said oh. he liked Nailed in the Coffin. Eminem got some cool songs I like. Stan, Lose Yourself. You know, Nailed in the Coffin was, was you know what I mean? No, because the beat was dope when he killed that shit. like. Yeah. Why is he using it like you know, like a little metaphor? But he's not that type of rapper, cause, yeah. Because he wants to be Eminem. That's what it comes down to. He wanted to be as big as Eminem. And it didn't happen. That's why he's mad. Let's be real. He wants to make it seem like this. All, oh, because Eminem's doing black culture. He's doing. Listen, Eminem is not the top of the food chain when it comes to rap. He's not the only one up there, bro. Like I don't understand yeah. why people think that. I think Eminem's great, but I also think my favorite rapper is Nas. Nice, yo, he's right through Eminem. Same thing with J Cole, Jay Z. I don't. Put, I don't There's think so Eminem is the ones, best though. rapper of all time. I think he's one of the best. I don't think any rapper is the best of all time. You yeah, can't you say, can't really. You can't yeah, because it's different. 
different uh tastes you know like yeah, different people different like different stuff you yeah. know you have, yeah. you have your own preference right yeah 100 percent. people so. need to really like people need to stop saying oh he's a culture vulture he's a Oh, listen, yo, you can't say he's a culture vulture, yo, when he's fucking really good at it. Now, if yeah. he's, like, doing shit, like, culture vulture, you, you right? You know like, who's I a think... culture, you know, um, I'm sorry, you know who's a culture vulture? DJ oh. Academics. He's a culture DJ vulture. Act, yeah, DJ Academics is a culture vulture, 100%. Because yeah. he vultured all through the drill rap scene, yes. right? And all through he, it. Yeah. DJ Vlad ain't no different. He, DJ he, Vlad's well, the same way. In music in general, you know what I mean? Same thing with the Say Cheese and Arthur, all those guys. Like, all they do is vulture, right? Yeah. And it's so funny is because they have guests talking about how Eminem is a vulture. And all yeah. Eminem ever done was make music for you and perform for you and make music. Yeah, he you. pushed he yeah. pushed the culture while everybody else is using the culture to get rich off. Yes, you Eminem feel me talking them. about him. DJ Vlad yeah. is one of them. They just like, oh, well, DJ, I hated DJ Academics because that Chicago shit was real shit. Real kids are yeah. fucking dying out there. He took advantage of that. And that's sucker shit to me. He's yeah. so rich. He's so yeah. rich. And people like respect him. I'm like, how can you respect anybody like that? Yo, that's just they respect six bottom. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, do yeah. Even, well, they're, even they're best friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? So <laughs> that's why <laughs> <laughs> fucking, yeah. hey, these guys, yo. Well, I even even if you more. don't like Eminem though, like you also gotta just respect the fact that like M even if you don't say that he pushed the culture. You also got to remember Eminem still kept bars alive for many years when he should have been dead a long time ago. No Eminem take Eminem's catalog away from the 2000s. How fast do you think the drill music and stuff like that would have would have came if there was no Eminem keeping up with like making people write like keep their pen game up? Yeah, would like, you have even Jay Z was even talking about like I, I stopped rapping like comment right? He's yeah. like ever since you know like he was talking about how music was changing right like the youth was changing they wanted different types of music from him that's why he wasn't rapping like common no more yep. same thing with kanye and a lot of people a lot of people started taking that route already because they started seeing how people were listening you're right. to music yeah you're 100 right? right? something right. if we'll eminem start. didn't keep being like nah i'm gonna keep up and keep the bars alive there wouldn't be people like j cole there wouldn't be people like kendrick there wouldn't be people mm -hmm. like who actually are still trying to keep like lyrical up. Learning yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, rappers, yo, I never I thought of it like that, yo. That's actually good shit that you broke it down. Yeah, because like, like even if you think about it, like you can hate Eminem all you want, but he really he kept that alive way longer than than it should have been, because yeah. it was it was going away. Like Nas was even talking about hip hop, you know, being dead. Big and he could have easily right, right. walked away. He could have easily walked away. He was so successful already. He could have yeah. easily walked away or switched his music into whatever is hype for the moment. Exactly. You know what I mean, he could he could have followed the trend. Make way more money and like doing yeah. shows. And, Imagine uh, if Eminem did what everybody else was doing and just talked about yeah. drugs and then did all that and then kept it super basic. This dude would be the biggest superstar in the world. For people that like you know say that he's a culture vulture i, I feel like there's so many more that talk about him being yeah, a vulture that yeah. they are the vultures you know what i'm They're saying the vultures, like yeah. the vultures are giving you the news about hey this guy's a vulture what has eminem ever done to take from hip-hop he has done nothing but giving you music bro and and pushing hip-hop further and further you know what i'm saying by coming up with new techniques and new new lyrical schemes like out of this freaking world and people love it you know what yeah. i mean this is what i really like about the culture vulture thing right because like like the top tier mcs jay-z nas uh j cole kendrick kanye they don't call eminem a culture vulture the only ones that call eminem a culture vultures are the ones that's failures not doing anything the failures <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The failures. Who yeah. closed gifts kept y'all excited. Now you let the industry really lynch, keep us divided. But back when I got indicted in and out of court fighting, you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, I'll tell you hate your father. He could never find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit, you're miserable when you're alone. And we think that they cloned you. Look where, don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch. But got a song, what if I was gay? Would join the Lucas. I'm done. Damn. Damn, what the fuck that, was that? Yo, that, that whole, ending. What was that? I mean, that we, we've definitely trash. seen it. We, we've seen Eminem with he married his wife twice. <laughs> like, what was that? Uh, if I was gay, that's that's an actual song. Yeah, what yeah, what is yeah. that? You know that? Yeah, yeah. I think it was leaked, but it never actually came out. He came out with a song with John Lucas called If I Was Gay. What if I was gay? And it's just Why? basically just hey, it's yo, actually Eminem, pretty it's pretty funny. Eminem is Fucking but it's it, it just like how he did, you know, like when he did. Um, he needs to get a hot interview. I would never listen to a song called that. <laughs> when he did the interview, he talks about how he, he's gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was oh, him, that's it was funny. Him. 
So it's basically that. that. It's them joking about it. But right. I don't, why why is Jordan Lucas doing that, yo? What is he doing? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is he doing? Over yeah, this, ha- this happened Eminem. right after they. Nah, I understand the humor, Eminem. Em- Eminem's humor is like uh, kind of like my humor. Like, yeah. uh, it's do I hate gays? The answer is yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like his, he got funny ass humor. I don't know, Benzino. You got to do better than this, y'all. You can't come on Eminem with this. You know, it, I guess you could say it's worth a try, but you sound like a complete hater. You are wrong about most of this stuff. Eminem has really not done much to you except for you trying to fucking criticize his music. Make better music, bro. <laughs> Make stop, better stop, music. stop saying he's stealing shit because he's one of the best <laughs> lyricists to ever live. So he's definitely not stealing lyrics. He got plenty of those. You got to find some. You know what I mean? Steal yourself some Eminem lyrics and come back stronger yeah i just wish his energy the same energy that he's got like all this negative energy towards him that he would actually focus that on the music yeah if he did that same kind of energy towards the music i think he would be way better if, instead of yeah. using this negativity yeah, he's, to he's old now so he's kind of like trying to eat off the eminem because he's gonna get like a a lot of interviews now talking about it how did you come about the this and what you think and blah and if eminem responds which eminem don't do it y'all don't respond to him. You're leaving me even more dead than he already yeah, is. I agree with He's you. He's already floating in the water. He's so dead. This fish is gone. You yeah. don't got to revive it, y'all. Yo, because you'll revive it. If you go in on him and you know you're going to slaughter him, and then what? We're going to wait for him to say some stupid shit like this back? <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I think, I think, the thing is Benzino's been killing himself over the years. He's been doing yeah. it himself. Like, you know, yo. I, I, like, like I said, I, I yeah, I, I don't. I like Benzino because, like I said, I like watching him. I like watching his interviews. I like watching him TV because he's a messy person and he's very entertaining. I wish he wasn't that messy, but he is. He's a fucking messy dude. He's in. Yeah. He does shit that, like, he claims he's like this and he claims he's a solid or a stand up guy, but he does a lot of whole shit. <laughs> mm, yeah. He does a lot of whole ass shit, yo. Um, but I still like him. It's entertaining to me. He's an entertainer. I'm very entertained by everything he does. This shit was not it though. The uh, proof line was fire as fuck. Yeah. I thought it was disrespectful as shit, but it was fire. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, is it that fire though? Just because it was so disrespectful. Maybe it's just super disrespectful. It's probably not that it's fire. Still, right? Nah, it's, it's very disrespectful in a rap, but in a rap battle, but that's how yeah. you're supposed to do it, you know? So yeah, it's, yeah. it's a. It's a good punch. It wasn't the best technique, but it was yeah, a great right. punch. That's what I'm trying to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, wasn't it great definitely wobbles somebody. It ain't gonna knock him out, but it's gonna yeah. wobble him for sure. You know, yeah. like uh, that's the that's the attention, right? That's that straight that like like he landed it, but it wasn't like it wasn't a knockout hit, right? It was like a straight to what like the other dude was like, oh okay, he's he's trying to fight me. <laughs> and Eminem's chin, he probably just took it like it was nothing, yo. He's like, what the hell was that? Was that a fly, yo? <laughs> <laughs> Benzo, you want it again? <laughs> I don't yo, know. Yo, he called him a grandfather. Like, when did he call him that, yo? How old is Benzino? Because he got to uh, be pretty that old. old. Probably like 10 years older than him, maybe a couple years older than him. He's not that older than him. Yeah, but Eminem is pretty old now. So he's yeah, close to 60, Benzino? Is yeah, he in his 50s, bro? That's crazy, bro. Yo, your mind state is still like this. Thing yeah, like yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So he'll, be 50, still, he'll be 59 this year. Do this, bro. That Bro, ben, that's, what, that's what I'm telling you. Benzino's been doing the most, man. Like making like he had. I think he had an OnlyFans at one time. Yeah, he just does whole shit, bro. It's just funny to me. It's it's entertaining to me, but it's funny. Eight years old. That's crazy, bro. You almost sixty, bro. Damn. Yeah. That's wild, yo. All right. Uh, thank you for joining us. Listening to Benzino tries hardest to get out Eminem uh, years later. But, you know, he tried, I guess, you know, but he's such a hater. He's just <laughs> Benzo. You a hater, bro. You a hater. You're 58 yes, years am. old. Just figure something out. Yo, stop like tapping into the new school internet beefs you trying to mm, get yeah. going. You know what I mean? It's just not for you. 58, bro. Come on, y'all. Yeah. yeah. We, we wish you the best over here though, at my catalog. Yeah. We hope you yeah. get. Uh, be very successful because I like Benzino. Like I said, I think he's funny as fuck. But you know, he's entertaining and he could keep entertaining. You know, he doesn't have to do this stuff though. Anyways, guys, shout out to Koi as well. You know what I mean? Shout out to Koi. I like Koi. Lorraine. Yeah, she's me too. Nice. Yeah, guys, we just gave you our thoughts. You give us your thoughts on the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time.
face. I knew I wasn't the greatest rapper, but I also knew I knew how to make music. I made some great music. I knew how to do that. That's why I had dope rappers with me. Eminem's this is me, never real, I swear to God. It's like I'm keeping it real. So I kept it real with you and I said, I like Neil Carpenter. His, right. none of his shit really affected me because while he's trying to discredit me as a street guy, so that didn't bother him, that part didn't bother him. So that's why I never looked at it like he ended your career or he killed you. Now, if he came with Nas's joint, Ether, yeah, I probably would've had to move out the country. I'm a beat now. So if a beat come on, I'm already like, mm, you know, I like those type of beats on this record. M's beats wasn't necessarily like, you know, they were still, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think if he, if, if M had different beats on his disc records against me, I think they could have had way more greater effect.